This is um, a lesson on what is meant by the term power. Power can be described in uh, a number of ways. One of the ways is this. It is the rate at which you do work. You could say it's how quickly you do the work effectively. You can say it's the rate at which energy is transformed. Because if you do work, you transform energy. You can also say it is the amount of work done per unit time. That would be a very advanced way of saying it, per unit time. And when you ever come across um, the term unit anything, it means one. Uh, the time obviously being measured in seconds, one second, the work done, in other words, in one second. If you come across the word rate and you know that it means how quickly you do something, time is always involved and you will always divide by time. And for that reason, the formula for power is going to be the work you do you then divide, that will give the, the word per, and you divide by how long you took to do the work. If you start talking about energy being transformed, you can say that that's equal to the energy transformed divided by time. So, for example, this is one of the experiments that you're meant to, to do as a, a prescribed experiment. Here is a set of stairs. And you're given the task of basically getting yourself up them. And up you go. And if you go upstairs, you gain gravitational potential energy. I'll just say PE for potential energy. And the formula for it is MGH. Now, it'd be quite easy to work out how much energy you gain uh, if you go up a flight of stairs and the vertical height, let's say, is three metres. And let's say the mass of a typical person might be 70 kilograms. Then the gain in potential energy is quite easy to work out. You take your 70 kilograms... You multiply by G, which is 10. You multiply by the vertical height of 3. And that will give you the answer of 2100 joules. And that's the energy transformed. It's the work that's been done. And you say you've gained gravitational potential energy. But how quickly did you do it? Well, you say, well, how, how long does it take to get up the stairs? Well... It depends on how energetic you're feeling. Let's imagine the time taken was something like seven seconds. Then you'd say, well, the power is the work divided by time. It's the energy transformed divided by time. Let's just write that as power is energy over time. And all you do is you say it's 2,100 joules. That was the energy I gained. You divide by the seven seconds. And that will give you 300. You then do the usual three thing, 300 what? And you're dividing joules by seconds. So you've got joules divided by, there's the slash again, divided by seconds, joules per second. And joules per second, they are called watts. That's to honour James Watt, who did a lot of very useful work uh, in developing steam engines. So power is the rate at which you do work. It's the work you do divided by how long you took to do it. The units are therefore joules divided by seconds. Joules per second and they are known as watts, and you just simply write down a capital W for the watt. 
and that is power.